Today we're going to be talking about all the improvements that I've made to my automatic egg harvester. This video is going to detail all the different improvements that I made and why I made those improvements for both the fish's health as well as for my own efficiency. Let's get into all the things that we did to improve this and things that you guys can do to make yours work even better. This video, however, is not going to be a description of how I built this. If you're looking for that video, I'll leave that link for this video in the description below. So the most notable change that you will see right off the bat is there's no longer green plastic here, but rather blue plastic. The green plastic that I've been using before that came with the Penplex breeder box initially has this slit at the bottom. And this slit was large enough for adult Celestial Prodanios to end up either at the bottom of the breeder box here or in the catchment breeder box up here. And that sort of defeats the whole purpose of trying to be as hands-free and hands-off and getting our hands in there a few times if we have to go in here, remove this out and chase out uh, an adult out of the actual breeding area and back out into the main tank. So I came up with a different piece of plastic that I just drilled a bunch of little tiny holes into instead of having one slat. And these holes are large enough for eggs to go through, but not large enough for adults to go through. And you'll notice that it's a pretty tight fit around the sides, so adults also can't get around on those sides. So when we start looking at the actual size of these holes, they're probably around three millimeters in size. Um, Celestial Prodania legs are anywhere between 0.9 to 1.1 millimeters. So they still fit very well through here and end up falling back down into the catchment area like before, getting pulled up by the suction created by the airlift that we have here and then up into this breeder box. So this was the biggest change that I think out of all the changes that I made and improvements, getting rid of this and getting some sort of plastic with holes drilled into it or cut into it or slats to be able to allow eggs to go through but not adults is gonna be the best thing for you. The second thing that I did was I added on the pieces of plastic here. I super glued a bunch of little thin pieces of plastic to cover up what used to be vent holes because normally this in the breeder box, how it was used was this would sit at the surface and this would allow water flow through. But we don't want water flow through here. We want the only water created by our suction to come through this plate up here. And if we have slats here, it's gonna allow water to come through these slats and go down and up our tube and not be able to pull the eggs through this portion here. So I went around to all the different areas that had these slats or any holes in plastic and put other smaller pieces of plastic onto them with super glue. And you can see on the back side as well, the pieces of plastic as well. So that's the second change that I made. The third change that I made was I decreased the amount of yarn that I had up here. Previously I had, I think maybe two or three of these mops but now I've just gone down to one and I still haven't seen too large of a decrease in the number of eggs that I'm getting. I think long-term, I'd like to try to get some Java moss to put up here instead, because I've noticed that the adults will get stuck in here and will get tangled up uh, and sometimes won't be able to break free. And if I have Java moss here, rather than having artificial yarn or artificial spawning moths, I think that would be better for the fish long-term. There's been a couple of times where I have uh, come in and found fish stuck in this mop and had to get in there and again adjust it with my hands. So long term I'd like to try to get some java moss to be able to put in here to have as be the spawning area. I'm mainly using this system here for my Celestial Pro Danios. And if you guys are using it for a different type of fish, I'd love to hear about it and love to know about it. And make sure you tell me down in the comments below. So those were the three things that I changed. I changed the green plate to a blue plate with a lot of tiny little holes. I plastic and closed up the entire container now with a bunch of plastic and super glue so that way water isn't going through here into the actual breeding area and rather only water going through the plate can get to the bottom part and lift it up out into our breeder box here and the third thing would be changing out this for smaller amounts of artificial mop and eventually changing it to the actual java moss if you guys want to see how I built this and how I put it all together, I'll leave that video in the description below for you guys to go over and check out. And with that, I hope you guys have a blessed day. See you guys in the next one. See ya.